Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a updated config and my settings. Um, this is a requested video. People always ask me for my crosshair, my sensitivity, my settings. So I'm going to be going over that today as well as a config. Um, I don't take credit for this config. People just use my channel as a one-stop spot for everything movement. So I thought that I would uh, pass along all the things I'm using right now. But before I get into that, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video. CSGOluck.com, the fastest growing CSGO case opening website. You can battle other players alongside bots and if that doesn't and fancy you you could also just open cases on your own to win some cool stuff you have plenty of other games to choose from alongside free cases that you get for just playing using code sleepy cs you get three free crates to open they provide you with a plethora of ways to deposit some money alongside a absolutely stacked withdraw page remember to use code sleepy cs and thank you cs luck for sponsoring this video so this config is kind of like a tweaked version of the old one uh the perks are that it doesn't crash the jump is a lot better and the binds are all the same the jump bug in this config is a lot better than before uh, and it's a little bit different because there's a new visual tell with the way that your character crouches but you got the jump bug and your long jump as well as the d sub tick jump and i'll explain quickly how to both do long jumps and jump bugs real quick so to long jump all you're going to want to do is press in mouse forward as quickly as you can and then go for your strafes to jump bug jump crouch press the bind as if you're using it to go for your next b hop and you'll spring up giving you extra height and extra distance to install everything right click cs2 go to install file browse game cs just go CFG and then drag and drop the files from the description in and then you're ready to go. Next, I'm going to go over my in-game settings, and first I'm going to talk about res. Between stretched and native, there's no distinct what's better. Just play what you prefer and just know the differences. 4x3 is faster, and you're going to have less FOV. In native, you're going to feel kind of more sluggish. You also have a wider FOV. I'm not going to go through every individual setting, but if you want to pause the video, these are the best competitive settings that you can have. The only thing I will mention is that NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency should be disabled if you have a CPU bottleneck and enabled plus boost if you have a good CPU that's like well-rounded for your computer. Another thing that's also personal preference is boost player contrast. Play around for this, but for me, I prefer this disabled. I get a lot of questions about my crosshair in this game, and honestly, I change it so often, but I do find myself erring around a couple crosshairs, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave a big list of crosshair codes that I use in this game, and you guys can pick through them because I get so many comments. Uh, my sensitivity is 1.35. I balance between 1.35 and 2. It kind of depends on the video, like more mechanically intensive, then I'm going to turn it down to like 1.35, aka like long jump, stuff like that. 1.35 is like my base sensitivity. This is the one that I recommend for everybody. It's a nice middle ground between being like high and low. Lastly, my binds. The only thing that are different about my binds is really just my last weapon uses space so that I can change weapons while I'm kind of going for a line. My inspect is on left alt and then I have all my nades bound to certain keys. So like my frag is on C, flashbang on F, smoke on X, and my molly on V. And that's pretty much everything that I have changed in binds. That's about wraps for this video. Um, thank you guys for 5k. I really appreciate it and I kind of just wanted to combine everything into one video um, the new config and the settings because two birds one stone I get a lot of questions about both like whenever a new config drop people hit me up and same with uh, you know my video settings and whatnot I get a lot of comments so yeah anyways thank you guys peace